because there's a third game. The thrilling conclusion to the Last Half of Darkness trilogy. Last Half of Darkness 3. Soft Lab Software Laboratories. Copyright 1992. All rights reserved. The third and final game in the Last Half of Darkness trilogy. <laughs> Just ignore the remake and the other four parts. <laughs> the third and final game. The thrilling conclusion. Let's play Last Half of Darkness 3. Game. Oh look, Last Half of Darkness 2. Three. Nineteen ninety three. Here we need to turn the cycles to four five oh oh. Go to the L half three directory. Part three, there it is. So this is a totally new uh, gameplay engine, very different style, very different atmosphere. Let's let's launch into it. Let's go. Start the timer. Straight into another adventure here. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This picks up immediately where the second one left off. A burning fire sits before you, providing warmth as it flickers away, sending its embers up into the sky. A new interface, the burning fire provides warmth. Again, it's registering my mouse clicks multiple times, so we have to be very careful about how I click. The door is closed and locked. Much larger viewfinder here, lots more colors. A different interface, so you can look at things, you can bag things, you can finger things, you can crosshair, you can spit, and you can containerize. I don't know what any of these do. Uh, we can save. Start. This button is the exit button. So yeah, yeah, that's a good exit button. Spit. Whoa, what's, what's going on? Hello, fire. What? Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Okay. So this is the, the speech dialogue tree prompt. And this is our declaration, what our statement is, and this is who we're speaking to. Hello to the fire. What is your name, fire? The fire cannot answer us. Where am I? Can you help me? Arg! Touch fire. Okay, this is the operate button. Bag. This is push. Take. Okay. Doors closed and locked. Only ghosts can walk through doors. Okay, this is walk. Containerize. This is open. All right, I think we got. I think we got the gist of it. Oh, let's begin the journey on the wharf. W A R F wharf. Bright red light shines from within a nearby alleyway, creating a strange, eerie red glow. These wooden buildings look over a hundred years old. The swamp can be seen in the distance. Pier contains a ladder which leads down to a walkway into the swamp. Interesting. So where's the girl we sailed away with? Where's... What is happening? 
Um, let's see how the movement works. Just going back. Oh, oh, hello. Sorry, but I can't talk now. I have something on the stove. Meet me later. Illegal function call. Oh, dear. Well, well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Uh, maybe we have to run start.gam. No. This game seems to be a little bit, a little bit on the glitchy side here. Seems to be a little bit on the glitchy side. So this time it did not even boot. <laughs> um, okay. Well. 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 Well, 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 uh, turn caps lock off cycles. Well, well, try it again. works this time but how long until it just crashes oh dear oh dear oh dear all right um everything's fine let's just never go back into that room everything's fine go this way this musty scented swamp is filled with large trees while up ahead lies a small dimly lit cavern just never go back into that room Large trees cast eerie shadows throughout the swamp. Cabin looks old and quiet. If it comes down to it and it's too unstable and crashes, we may just hold off until another day while I troubleshoot it. We may have to troubleshoot it. Only ghosts can walk through doors. Uh, open? Door? This is DOSBox staging. This is the branch that I use. From the decor in this strange cavern, it was obviously once occupied by a man of sport. Swords, the swordfish looks as though it probably put up a big fight. <laughs> Look at that painting! Look at the picture! Oh, empty bowl rests on the table. Wood burning stove. I said a bottle which reads. E ghoul hair tonic. Okay, pick up um hand. Let's operate. Bag. We got the hair tonic. Got some hair tonic. Cool. Um Okay. Thick layer of dust lies on this bed. Nothing special about the lamp. Can we operate the lamp? Why am I using the hair tonic? Don't use the hair tonic, just... Just try and operate. Spit. Hello, shelf. Don't... 
Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we found a secret here. Rug feels a little strange underneath. Let's go. The underground room. Hello. Would appear this is where the girl has been hiding. She stands before a large cauldron. The girl. Of course, this is where the girl is. Am I supposed to know who the girl is? Girl. What? It seems we're in the same same sort of bizarre fever dream logic as the first game. Stirring its contents. Girl looks very friendly. It's a countryside oil-based painting. Strange bowl which resembles a skull. Candle. The book is in a language unknown to you. Some sort of potion in the cauldron. The girl. Hello, girl. Hello, I need your help. You must bring me the ingredients to finish this potion. Oh, okay. You've convinced me. What is your name, girl? My name is Telia. Where am I? You're in my secret room. <laughs> this rules. Okay, this, this game owns. Can you help me? Find the ghost of my sister. She will tell you the ingredients to find. Arg! Girl does not respond. Give me the skull. Give me the skull. Don't take that. I'm going to put the potion in that once you bring me all the ingredients. Give me the book. Give me the candle. Touch that. Touch this. All right. All right. Let's go find her ghost sister. Go this way? Okay, that's back down there. Enter second word in introduction. Enter second word in introduction. Well, um, um, um so the directory the game directory does not have a readme does not have a manual anything like that no text files whatsoever um, i was basing it off the this the readme for the second game you can see introduction the second word in the introduction is journey now, it is worth mentioning that copy protection, this product contains no on disk. Oh, capitals. It does, however, contain manual protection. It requires the player to input a word in capitals from the manual when asked by the game. Yeah, I probably needed to use the word journey in all capital letters. All right, let's try again. Hopefully, the game boots this time. <laughs> Hopefully the game boots this time. <laughs> well, well. Is that the girl we rescued? Welcome. It didn't. It crashed. Well. This is going to be very annoying. I can try different cycle settings. Maybe maybe it's something to do with the CPU cycles. I was testing it out last night and something was wrong with like 5,000 cycles. Let me try 5,000 again. 
There's something that didn't quite work. I think it's this little introduction runs too quick. But yeah, because the the voice cuts off the PC speaker beep is and boops. So 4,500, you could hear the introduction play all the way. But we'll, we'll try this, okay. Store, was it girl? Are my items not in my inventory anymore? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I have a candle? And that's the hair remover. Oh, okay. Hello. Telia. I wonder if her name's important. Make note of this. The inventory, very questionable inventory system. Well, many things are very questionable about this game. It rules. Can you help me? Arg. It seems like, oh my God. If it comes down to it, we could heavily, heavily abuse the saving and loading system to circumvent the copy protection. <laughs> Because I did not get copy protection check in the same spot there. Okay, uh, hello. Sorry, but I can't talk now. I have something on the stove. Meet me later. Nothing special about that. Arcade seems quiet. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we gotta go to the arcade. Whoa, win a video game! SpaceX, C Scan, Turtle, Zone. Can we play Splat? This eerie arcade's quite vacant, with its machine standing in solitude, waiting for someone to play with. Save game. Rules. Rules read you must get a thousand points on SpaceX to win a free disc. Okay. Uh, they're not plugged in. Takes a quarter to play. Oh, I don't have a quarter. Nothing special about the Turtle video game or C Scan or SpaceX or Splat. Or combat. No pool sticks in the rack. Get the ball. The pool table does not catch on fire. Good. This is kind of mysterious here. All right, so we just have to come back here with a quarter and play SpaceX. Hopefully the game's, the game's running at an appropriate speed to play it, but we can adjust the cycles on the fly if need be. Second word in starting. They're configuring and starting your journey first. Oh, it works! All right, we're gaming. We are gaming. All right, uh, let's go. This way. Everything from sugar to jelly can be found in this general store. Oh, why'd you, why'd we, why'd you leave? Nothing special about the sign. 
sweet sugar, some of Ajax scouring powder, may just clean up this town. Box of Uncle Yen's Japanese rice. Can of oatmeal with last decade's expiration date. Cans of cola. Laundry detergent that's moldy somehow. Yucky old Mr. Yucker's old fash old fashioned jelly. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't terribly uncommon for older DOS games to have problems with CPU cycles and speeds. It was very frequent with, like, Sierra games. I remember that distinctly as a kid, trying to play games from Sierra. So even, like, a big-budget professional company still had problems tying certain events and cycles to, to CPU clock speed. Also, keep in mind this game was made by entirely made by one person. Use the bow. Storekeeper. Hey, buddy. You're looking a little gray there. 1993. No, that was pretty late era in DOS, but still. It's just something to always be wary of. Barrel of crunchy pickles. Pickles. Talk to dude. Hello, storekeeper. Hello. Get out of here if you don't have any money. Well, let's talk. Talk to him again. What is your name? Does not respond. Where am I? Obviously, the storekeeper knows you are here. Can you help me? Does not respond. Oh, object. Oh, I'm talking to the object. Gotta talk to the storekeeper. Arg Does not respond. Okay. Take a pickle. Oh, we're in jail. All right. See, it feels like it's running too fast, but if I turn the game speed down, the game, like, doesn't want to boot sometimes. <laughs> like, should I turn the cycles down? while in game after booting it sitting in the cell your only thoughts are those of escape as you look around this creepy cell for an exit some girl in a swimsuit air vent looks very old it might be soft locked Oh, we got water. We got water. Take the water. Operate the vent. Kick the vent. Bed looks clean. Can't take the bed. Can't take the poster or the object. Can't take the air vent. We can't kick the air vent. We can't talk to it. Arg! A guard appears. Hello, guard. Guard does not respond. Can I have some dinner? <laughs> this. This is awesome. It's a tray. You eat the dinner with the manners of an ape. Could have used the spoon. Free spoon. Use the spoon. All right, go. Okay, we escaped. This passage contains several water pipes and a small air vent. The end of it is corridor. Cold pipes and warm pipes and that save jail going this way takes us back in here now we have to carve uh, nope we don't have to carve our way out anymore noticing the decor this must be the captain's office better not let him catch you in here let's close the door let's 
close the door. Let's take the phone. Let's take the picture. Let's take the trophy. 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 Use the phone. Use the door. Use this. Well, let's look. Another cheap trophy. Cheap, cheap trophy. Small statue of a very odd... This small statue is very odd in its form of a woman. One of the captain's trophies from high school. Nothing special about the phone or desk. Picture is of the captain when he was just a rookie. Let's just mosey on out of here. The illumination of the light in the cell creates an eerie effect. Stone floors. Toilet. this way it's very hard to tell where i'm going <laughs> it's very hard to tell where i'm going as i navigate my way through these rooms a riddle which reads pour the head on all the dead if not bubbling nor all is there beware Nothing special about the wanted poster. Clerk window. Flower. The words, the world's greatest captain, are printed on this mug. Guns. Get the guns. Get the guns. Get the poster. Get the phone. Get the mug. Get the object. Get the outlet. Get the clerk. Get the flower. Get the note. Open the cabinet. This is... This is such a bizarre interface. <laughs> yes, the third one helical. The second one was just, like, complete derangement. Oh, 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 gun, gun. Taking the gun case won't help you. We'll take the guns. Take the guns. We can open the gun case, but not take the guns. Is there not a hot spot for the guns themselves? Just the case. Okay. What? Talk to the guns. Hello, shelf. What's your name, mug? Oh, the door, the, the gun shay, gun case closed. Oh, whatever. We broke out of jail. Whatever. Whatever. We broke out of jail. Everything's fine. All right. So yet again, this is a new adventure. We must explore the game world, discover the potential areas, harvest every item possible from all the different screens. And there's, it looks like a lot of rooms. Local pubs located down this alley, as well as several lofts, where, lofts warehouses, and the town jail. Oh, there's a tavern. This deserted tavern contains only the company of a weird-looking bartender and the television set. Popular television show Married with Ghouls is on. Either this guy is smashed, or he's won Helda's acts of revenge? What? Jar stuffed with money. Let's talk to him. Hello, bartender. Hello, stranger. What can I get you? First drink is on the house. Oh, cool. A beer or anything stronger? Oh, this could be a 
a 50 50 guess as to what we need to grab if we guess wrong if we're soft locked let's get a beer pick up the beer gulp it down then place the mug back on the bar Nom 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 Okay. Drink five hundred beers. Where am I? You're in a bar. You have anything stronger? Oh my bottle now. Okay. Can you help me? No, he just kinda gestures. Arg! Hey, no yelling in here, buddy. <laughs> what? What's down this way? The view of the loft across the alley can be seen through the window up ahead. Spotted dog looks like some kind some kind freakish specimen from Helda's lab. Who is Helda? Town center below. Pet the dog. I would suggest letting sleeping dogs lie. I want to pet the dog. Pick up the dog. Talk. Nice doggy. Dog does not respond. Good boy. Stay. Sit. Arg. Okay. Can we jump out the window? This is such a mysterious game. All right, that's one room mostly harvested. Okay, this is back to the prison we just broke out of. Only ghosts can walk through doors. Of course, that's a closed door. What? Oh, we found the town torture chamber. Okay. This room must be some sort of torture tor torture chamber several girls are currently receiving punishment from a large hooded figure what torture rack being wiped whipped for one reason or another leaving this guy alone might be a good idea uh let's let's poke him Oh dear. Oh dear. And the mouse cursor has stopped working. And the mouse cursor seems to be locked into the corner. And I cannot move. <laughs> the game is frozen. <laughs> Alright, we just gave her a little stretch. A little stretchy. Just a little stretchy. Uh, L half. Uh, last. Part three. Oh, it's on. It's on twenty thousand cycles. Wow. Way too fast. Turn that down. Store. What was my last save game? What? Of course. The word what? <laughs> Here we are. Okay. So let's not crank the girl. 
Try to avoid cranking the girl. See if I can take her? Talk? Hello, hooded figure. Get out of here! What's your name, hooded figure? Where am I, hooded figure? He knows you're here. I think you should let these girls go. You better get out of here now, or you'll be joining them. Arg Doesn't respond. Hello, girl. Get out of here! What's your name, girl? Doesn't respond. Where am I, girl? I think you should let these girls go, girl. Hello, cell. Get out of here. Hello, girl. Get out of here. Hello, object. Oh, okay. It looks like the dialogues are based on the room you're in, not necessarily who you're speaking with. Because I can say anything to anything in the room, and I get the same response every time. <laughs> All right, Alec, we'll take care. Good luck to the gym, the gaim. This game is demented, I think. Little torture room of nothingness. Little torture room of nothingness. Sell the spoon. Let's get out of here before the game crashes again. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Whew. Close call. What? I don't want to go back in here. Okay, the warehouse. Only a large crate and a ladder leading into darkness is located in this quiet warehouse. There's a very large box sits in the middle of this room. Empty. Closed crate contains a small crack in it. Unfortunately, it's too dark to see anything. Well, well, we have a candle. Doesn't catch fire. Okay, the candle's only for burning things. Not for illuminating. Open the crate. I right, need some sort of object to open the crate. Loft across the alley can be seen. Interesting. And of the many plants in this room, I, I see one plant. Door. Wait. This is second word in introduction. Copy protection. Journey. How do I get to a new spot? No, 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 no. These lead to the same spot. This is extremely confusing. If we open this door and walk in here, it's the same building with the same tree and the same loft as this door here. Okay, all right, just two identical rooms, no big deal. Whoa! It would appear that the local witch was burned here in this town center. Take displays the mortal remains of a burned witch. Dude, this game owns. Nothing special about that. Take. Taking the stake with mortal remains won't help you. Uh, let's let it, let's set it on fire. Doesn't catch fire. Open this door. Go in. Another warehouse. Or is that the same? Oh, 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 okay, I see. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Valley, evil eye watches over your being. 
So you notice a bird of prey in a weathered tree sitting high above the valley below. Hello, bird. Nothing special about the bird. Moon. A full moon tonight. Little house, some vat. Let's go this way. Standing in front of this ghoulish house, you begin to wonder the horror which lies within these walls. Nothing special about the house. Nothing special about the house. Just, just a house. Go ahead. <laughs> this eerie red light hall of horror contains a ghoulish fellow sitting in a very large chair. As if awaiting your reason for being here. Guy doesn't look very friendly, but who knows? Nothing special about that. Have a chat. Hello, ghoul. Okay. What's your name? Dude, this is so cool. Oh, it locked up! This is going to be very annoying. This is going to be very annoying. It's already annoying. It's 40 minutes in and the game is locked up or crashed like 10 times. Like, this, it's totally frozen. I wonder if it's trying to give me a second copy protection. And just simply can't handle it. Because last time it locked up in the torture chamber, that was after two voice clips. Yeah, after trying to turn the wheel twice. The second wheel turn. Maybe it is just two voice clips. Bricks the game. Alright. All right. Uh, let, me, let me do something real quick. Let me change... DOS box so it boots boots directly into the game folder. Okay, there we go. So now we should be right here, part three. Make it a little bit quicker to do these constant wow. resets. Cycles down. Restore. We're back at what? Um, so I didn't get anything new here. Let's zoom out here. Where am I? Okay. All right. All right. See ya. See ya. Uh, let's go forward. Enter third word in talking. I guess we have life points in this game. Object. I guess this up here is our life points. According to the manual here. Throughout your journey, you'll probably encounter several dangerous forces of evil. When approached too closely, your life points may decrease. Once these points are gone, so are you. <laughs> so we don't want to die. 
scary looking archway tree house located on the porch you notice the occasional bolt of lightning which strikes throughout the sky look at this look at this perspective this is goofy This is weird. It's like we walked up to the house and then just laid down on the ground and looked up at it and we're just kind of like that. <laughs> what? Open the door. Can I take a torch? Go in. This was cool. Located in the stoned hall, the strange presence of the unknown infiltrate these walls of fright a statue of a man holding something which resembles a bowl nothing special about the candle painting of a woman might be helda herself who is this helda strange orb okay take anything What? Creepy hall which lets which lies before you awaits your decision upon which corridor to travel through. So some dude just zoomed on by and into that room. Even at three thousand CPU cycles, everything's moving so fast. Let's turn it down to two thousand. Girl looks very familiar. Nothing special about the picture. Do another save house. Picture doesn't budge. Okay. Open that, that. Oh, locked. Locked and locked. The dining room. This is a vast and enormous game world with many places to go. Per perhaps not much to do, <laughs> but many places to go. It would appear that dinner will not be served tonight as the table sits in absence from any ghoulish gourmet delicacies. Pictures of a large man wearing a hat. Skull. Looks like a pretty weird table fixture. Flags, armor. This knight stands at attention. This knight's heavily armored. Okay. Let's burn the tablecloth. Burn the tablecloth. All right, let's move on. Whoa! The kitchen. Overwhelming darkness. This creepy kitchen casts its eerie shadows upon the floor and walls, creating an eerie, an eerie ambiance within this cowweb infested, cobweb infested dwelling for roaches. This game is so cool. Oh, a book. Skillet. Large knife. Oh, take, take, take. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Carrying around a book is a waste of energy. Simply examine the book to read it. Okay. Okay. This recipe book contains many entrees such as hungarian goulash goulash severed head cheese <laughs> hey foul boy yeah no kidding this place is absolutely creepy get some skillets we're collecting items this is good this is very good collecting things 
Ooh, uh, this walk-in refrigerator contains several boxes of food and ice cream, as well as a dead woman. Uh, solid piece of meat could feed a small army. Bottle. Looks very cold and very, very dead. Ooh, ice cream. Hot dogs, fries. Take anything, take the girl. Maybe we need to throw her into a volcano. Cut her with a knife. in the box oh ooh, ooh, what's in there now a box of bird seed okay got some bird seed <laughs> good good hot dogs i guess we just leave the dead girl here no birds will find the bird seed there Okay, all right, that's fine. So there's one door searched. Uh, go down here. The romantic moonlight shines in this eerie room. Her thoughts are far romance. As strange shadow-like figures can be seen in the garden. That makes zero sense. Window provides a spectacular view of the ghoulish garden outside. Chairs covered with a sheet. Give me the sheet. Okay. I guess this is just a nothingness traversal room. Oh. The statue of a beautiful woman reveals a necklace with a key. All right. We're getting a lot of items very quickly. This is very good. Very good. Not sure what to do with these items. Or what we're supposed to be doing, period. But things are good. Look at this skull. Some sort of trophy. The book is tilted. The ancient craft of sorcery. The yeah, outside of this book, oh, titled, not tilted. Book is titled The Ancient Craft of Sorcery. This old bookcase reveals several oddities. Uh, ghouls and ghosts. Another one of those weird trinkets which decor this house of horror. Moon globe. This picture is that of a strange hooded character. Take anything? Open the desk, open the books. Okay. Uh, just mosey on. Oh, we're back here. Okay, so that must have been a loop. A loop like that. I see, I see. Maybe this key can unlock one of these doors. Save. Save. Lock. Use key. Did nothing. Use key. Did nothing. Okay. Never mind. Let's go up here. Let's go here. Three birds of a feather will help kill forever. Okay. The ghost speaks. Three birds of a feather will help kill forever. And the game crashed. I think it's after every second voice clip, the game just crashes.
I don't think it's two in a row or two of the same. I think it's just every second voice clip the game breaks. This might be one. Maybe it's three if we could skip this one. Uh, 3,000 cycles. Restore. Lock. Maybe I can save and restore after every voice clip? Bird. Store. Bird. Maybe that like refreshes the... <laughs> I don't know. Odd picture of a mysterious lady decors the wall. nothingness can I open any of these doors door door oh my god six six rooms to explore let's go there is this world is so huge <laughs> illumination of the moonlight oops I'm running over my cable okay there we go the illumination of the moonlight through the window casts eerie shadows creating a haunting horror which affects your senses to detect the unknown candle and book this is a picture of some guy oh drawer open what's this sleeping pills okay more items can we open the book cannot be opened Open the table. Okay. Good. Uh, let's go this way. Ah! Oh! Appears a piece of this room is missing, or quite possible, stolen for reasons unknown, from beings unknown. Well, well. well there's a toilet bandit. Nothing special about the clothes hamper. Apparently the vamps were responsible for this vandalism. What does that even mean? Famous mold spice. All right, I got the mold spice. Ooh. Third word in installation. What does that even mean? Installation. Oh, that's right. Installation is not titled installation. It's called. Wait. Configuring and starting your journey? Is that installation? I guess configuring and starting the journey might be installation. The third word there is time. Oh, oh dear. Uh, there is no section in the manual called installation. How to play quitting. Tips and hints? Troubleshooting section? Memory? Uh, please write warranty information, copyright information. There's nothing in the manual called installation here. So I guess we just guess. <laughs> 
Let's have to guess. Maybe troubleshooting is installation. So, provides. Invalid word. Okay. Try again. It has never asked me this before. Select an input device? Audio device? System speed? Oh, I hope I didn't break it. I probably should have done PC speed. I might have broken it. I did the Sound Master 2 or whatever. It's not a Sound Blaster, Sound Master. What? It's never asked me that before. Game Blaster? And it, it seems to be, oh my god, it, I might have broken the game. Unless we can somehow convince it to allow me to run that installation again. Well, the sound just doesn't work anymore. <laughs> okay. Maybe that'll prevent it from crashing. Quit. What? How? How do I get to that setup again? Quit. Oh dear. So now everything is running way, way too fast, and there, and there's no speed, and and there's no sound. Uh, let me try and force the copy protection to pop up and then fail it intentionally and then try and reboot the game. This is so janky. <laughs> Second word in starting. Ugh. Blah. Okay, now we... No? This may be like a, a too high tier jank. <laughs> Too high, too high power jank. It, it, it crashed again. So we quit. <laughs> this is like ultra powered. I, I want to turn the sound back on, if anything. I don't really care about the speed. We can deal with the speed. I just want to turn the sound back on. Bird. Get this. Oops. Did I get the thing? Did I get the thing? I got the thing? Okay. This is running really fast. Oops, wrong way. Get the thing. Get the thing. What's in here? Turn on the sink. The knobs are broken. Save. Bath. 
I mean, we can still progress through the game. Third word in introduction. <sighs> Begins. It worked. So maybe now if I save and quit, we can reconfigure it. Whoops. These are the three executables in the game directory. Brun45, A299. There's no setup, no install file, nothing like that. <laughs> Oh, oh the, the digitized voice. I'm not going to miss out on it. This is so sad. So sad. I bet there's a way. A way to do something. I bet there's a way to manually change the settings. It came raid. Thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody. Welcome. How's it going? Oh shucks. Thank you very much. Hope your stream went well. We're playing a extremely janky and broken <laughs> DOS adventure game. <laughs> Last half of darkness. Welcome everybody. Last half of darkness three to be precise. This is a very cool game. It's also broken and crashing constantly. <laughs> and I just broke it even more. It's a horror themed point and click adventure. It's so cool. We're just kind of, ex ooh, kind of exploring, looking for things to pick up and things to do. Uh, strange antiques fill this closet, keeping within their materialistic beings. Mysterious secrets and stories which surround them throughout the centuries. Turn the speed down. I just broke the game on accident. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can fix it. But I think it might be broken. You got a man on a horse. A oh, Greek statue. From the hairstyle of this girl, it would appear it was painted in the 60s. Wax drippings of the candles. Candles were once very tall. All right, can I pick up anything in this room? Use anything in this room? Yeah, there's voice acting sometimes, <laughs> but I turned it off accidentally. I don't know how to turn it back on. It's a very confusing game, very mysterious. Very, yeah, very unique user interface here. This game is super cool. Whoa, look at this. The game room. Activities once played in this room have turned from quiet games of chance and fun to those of horror. Dismay. One of the three Morrison sisters. One of the evil Morrison sisters. Another one of the wicked Morrison sisters. No chess pieces. It's like there's something behind this chair. Waha, waha, waha. Operate the paintings, operate the objects. Hmm. I move this rug. Dana raid! Holy smokes, the double raid! <laughs> Welcome, raiders! Thank you for the raid, Dana. Hope your stream went well. Hope the tactics ogre is still treating you well. Oh, let's use the knife to cut open the couch, cut open the chair. Stab the portrait. Playing Last Half of Darkness 3 now. 
Oh, a third word in the introduction. Okay. Begins. Continue with your quest. Books. This book looks very scary. It's titled The Ghost. Two drawers in the dresser. Wait, wait, wait. There's a small box in this drawer. Oh, oh. Take okay, I have a box. <laughs> this is such a weird game. Fried chicken vape juice is a product you can buy. Did you buy it, Dan? Did you buy the fried chicken vape juice? If I were a vapor, I would purchase fried chicken vape juice. Pillow looks very fluffy and soft. So the story of this game is we're stuck on an island. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, we're stuck on an island. This is the last half of the darkness three. Uh, the third game in a series. I just played last half of darkness one and two earlier on stream. Now, this is the third and final game of the series, the trilogy. Just don't mind the other five Last Half of Darkness games. This is the final one. Uh, Last Half of Darkness 1, we show up to our aunt's abandoned old house, wander around for a little while, find a captured girl in the basement who may or may not be dead. We drop a little droplet of magic potion on her, revive her, and she whisks us away to an unknown world. Last Half of Darkness 2, we wander around in a dungeon for like an hour and then get our fortune told. Sail to a ghost island. Throw a girl into a volcano. A girl we rescued in the dungeon. We throw her into a volcano and then sail away on a ghost ship. That's basically all that happened. It was very bizarre. <laughs> And then, as we're sailing away on the ghost ship, uh, it gets shot down with cannons, and we escape, we row to this mysterious island. And now we're on the island, just kind of wandering around. I don't really know what's happening, what we're supposed to be doing. I don't know anything, I'm just wandering, <laughs> picking up items, and then rebooting the game when it inevitably crashes. And yeah. Pretty cool stuff. I think these games are all about the cool graphics and the atmosphere and just the spooky aesthetic. It's really fun, actually. Like, I've kind of undersold it. The first two games were super cool. I had a lot of fun playing through them. The second one, not quite as much as the first, although the second game did have a lot of cool moments about it. It just it was very bizarre and, like, disjointed and felt like a fever dream. <laughs> Which can't be fun and good. <laughs> First one was a lot more cohesive of, an, of a game. And in this we're just wandering. We're literally just wandering around. Uh, we found a girl in a hut. Who told us to find her ghost sister to help her find ingredients to make a potion. Okay. Found another girl... Or we found a guy sitting on a throne who said to give him the stone. Okay. <laughs> we found... I think that's that's about it. We've got to find a stone to give to some guy and find a ghost girl to learn what ingredients to give to some sister. Okay. As we, as we do, we just explore. Until we find more, more plot. Try and take everything that we can. Now, the Cursed games were heavily inspired by these games. How long did I play Cursed 3? I don't know. Not long enough. Almost 16 hours to finish Cursed 3. It was a very good game. The most joyous 16 hours. 
Is there anything in this room? The fire doesn't budge. Oh! The box explodes. Revealing a small trinket inside. Okay, cool. We exploded the box that we found. And now I have a trinket. What? Is he, what? I, are you okay? We did, we did a thing. What? Um, this door is locked. I have a key. There. Can I unlock it? <gasps> What's in here? The unlit fireplace in this room is doing a particularly good job of keeping the chilling feeling of this estate in perspective to its guests. Save. Door. Beautiful girl in a dress. Log is made of plastic. Nothing special about the plant. Something is very strange about this fireplace. It's too clean. Oh, that's a clue. Look at this picture. Notice, or looking closer at this candle, you notice there's a small hinge on its base. As if it might be a switch. Can't open the drawer. Can't open the candle. Can operate it though. This futuristic state-of-the-art computer room and laboratory contains enough equipment to launch a rocket. What? Picture of a molecule? Blueprints, take. Oh, they won't help you. Use the blueprints? Computer? This case contains a small glass case. <laughs> what? Can I take it? Open the case. Oh, ooh. Take. We got a thing. We got a thing from the case. Meaningless scribbles, at least to you, appear on this chalkboard. What is this? You inject the small rodent with the liquid? Wait, what? Your life points are gone. Press Y to play again. What? Excuse me? Play again. This way. The case. What even is this? A small glass case. So we're picking up a small glass case. And then it goes in the inventory. It's a dual syringe, like a dual liquid syringe. So let's save here. What? If I try to use this just on anything, it says the empty dual syringe did nothing on the object. I'd use it down here. Use it over here. Use it there. We filled it with green liquid. Adding the pink liquid turns the syringe pinkish green. Turns it brown. I am so confused. I am so very confused. I think we are supposed to mix the chemicals in a specific way to create something. Some potion, some magic. Oh, there's a bird. 
you inject the small rodent with the blue liquid and it explodes. What? Oh, oh, okay, and we exploded that. Uh. I hate to say it, but... This game may not be as good as the other Last Half of Darkness games. Can I use the computer? Need a disc. A disc which we could get from the arcade if we beat the high score in that game with a quarter. So I still haven't found a quarter yet. This game may not be as good as the others. What's that? Green liquid looks like swamp goo. Pink liquid is bubbling. Blue liquid smells very sweet. I think we have to like mix a concoction, but I just don't have the clues necessary to do it yet. All right, let's let's get out of here. I think we fully explored the mysterious lightning house. Occasional bolt of lightning. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is occasional. Occasional bolt of lightning. Oh dear lord. Okay. Um. Bird. So that's the guy who wants the stone. It's the arcade. Oh, whoa! Calm down. The spooky store. A very strange lady stands in the store, wiping a glass case while staring, <laughs> staring, S T A I R ing, strangely into your eyes. It's like one of the townspeople who didn't get away fast enough. Get away from what? What is happening? Cheap award? World's greatest jeweler? The old lady brings back unknown memories. See, if I could somehow run the installation setup thing again and tell it I'm running a faster computer, then we could slow down these animations. But I, I, I panicked. Hello, ghoulish lady. Be gone, stranger. What's your name, ghoulish lady? Doesn't respond. Where am I, ghoulish lady? She knows you're here. Can you help me, ghoulish lady? Does not respond. Arg! Doesn't respond. have my inventory use the knife on her Ugh. no like you can't look at inventory items i can't interact with my inventory items at all all i can do with the stuff that's in the inventory is use them on things in the world this <laughs> what's this i have a bottle mold spice okay that's mold spice not old spice that's mold spice this is bald e ghoul hair tonic. Okay. Key. R. It's a white fluffy towel. Bird seed. Z. Sleeping pills. Spoon. I know what the spoon is. All right. All right. That was fun. Uh, let's go... Was that here? No, this is the store. 
So I came here once, tried to steal some pickles, and got thrown in jail, then broke out of jail. Can we... Oh, hello. Hello, object. Get out of here if you don't have any money. I still don't have any money, so I don't think I can do anything here. So that's this door and this door. This is the arcade. I go this way. Okay, we're back here. Go here. This is the starting area. Yeah, this is the lady who wants us to meet her ghost sister to learn about ingredients to give to her for whatever she's mixing up, some mysterious potion. We never found her ghost sister though. This is the starting screen. Can we open this door? Strange trinket. Key. Oh. Okay, I think we've gone everywhere possible. This is the arcade. We plugged in the machine. We need a quarter to play the arcade game to get a disc. That's the rules. Win a free disc if you beat a thousand points at the arcade game. That's the rules. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So we don't have any quarters yet, so I can't do that. Um, down. Where does this lead? Down here. Yeah, this leads back to the guy. So there's this gigantic spooky mansion here. <clears throat> which just has a strange man, a ghoul, who says, bring me the stone. I have no stone. I haven't found any stone. Maybe the strange trinket's the stone. I wish we could hear the voices. This is really annoying. Trinket. Did nothing. Uh, well, there's a bird here. Let's try the bird seed on bird. Bird. No birds will find the bird seed there. Do we have to find the spot to put the bird seed? Okay. Here. Where does this lead? I've forgotten. We're up here. Can we use the bird seed up here? In the loft? This is a highly mysterious game. Maybe I can use the knife to open the fragile box. Maybe I can use the spoon to open it. No. No. Okay. Um. Go to the pub? What was back here again? Oh, the torture chamber! That's right! Hello, sir. Can I give you the knife? Oh, this... The game does not like this room. Game does not like this room here. Get out of there. Where's the police office? Is it here? Okay, we've got the dude here. Hello, dude. 
The town sheriff. We never talked to the sheriff. I just broke out of jail. Hello, cop. Hello, stranger. I hope you aren't planning on getting into any trouble here. What's your name, cop? Officer Carlson. Where am I, cop? You're in the police station and you'll be in the cell if you screw around in my town. Can you help me, cop? No! I'm a cop. Arg! What's the matter with you? Don't yell here. We can... There's a riddle here. A riddle which reads, Pour the head on all the dead. If not bubbling, nor all is there, beware. Do I have to solve this riddle? What does this even mean? <laughs> what? What? Pour the head. So we do have the hair tonic. Maybe that's the head. Uh, beer could be a head. Beer has a head. Maybe it's some concoction at the secret lab. If not bubbling, nor all is there, beware. Oh, very mysterious. Let me take a screenshot of this. We have to refer back to this riddle. Okay, we'll save that right over there. Angelus05, welcome. Thank you for the follow. I do like old school DOS games as well. I've been playing a lot of them lately. Take the flower. Uh, stab the man. Clerk, can I talk to the clerk? Hello, clerk window. Hello, clerk window. No. Use the knife. Go back to the cells. Captain's office. Reverse break into our cell. <laughs> okay. All right. There's the cop. There's the sheriff. Hey, sheriff. What's up, buddy? What are you doing there? All right, we've reached the point of the game where I think I've been everywhere possible. Now we just have to figure out what in the world you're supposed to do. <laughs> Which is easier said than done. Okay, can I turn up the speed here? And will that make the mouse cursor usable? Uh, kind of. Oh, dude, he's freaking out. You want some booze? Candle? Strange locket. What's this? Mold spice? Bald eagle hair tonic? Key? R? Bird? Spoon? Can I crash the game by turning this? Oh, we just stretched the girl just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Goodbye. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point. Um, hmm. Go into the pub? Oh, there's a dog here. Use all objects on the dog. Spoon. Sleeping pills. 
bird seed. Fluffy towel. Key. Or whatever this is. Bald eagle hair tonic. What? Did you kill the dog? It appears to change its form back into the mysterious girl? Click to... Your life points are gone. Press Y to play again. <laughs> what is happening? Now, what was my last save? Door? My last save was what? This is all the way back here. <laughs> what is going on in this dimension of bizarre? Uh, this area had two doors I can't open. Two doors. My key didn't work on them. I got this mysterious locket for blowing up a box. I don't know what to do on the locket. Or with the locket. What was in here again? Kitchen. The dead body locket. I think this is going to devolve into literally just trying every item on every possible thing until something new happens, which is is sucks. <laughs> I don't like doing that, but I really don't know what to do. Oh, 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 there is a thing. Okay, cool. I feel like I should use this strange trinket on something. But what? What? What is the th the thing? Now, what do we do in this room? We left. Oh, this is the bathroom. We got the towel and the the pills. We got something from out of there. This is a mysterious room. I don't think I did anything here. Let's try the locket on the strange statue. Burn stuff? Old crow? So we can kill the dog? Why? I guess we're not supposed to kill the dog. This is... Uh, this is... That was back here. We didn't do anything in this room either. Now they're all looking to the right. All the pictures seem to be looking to the right. But whatever that means, I don't know. Talk. Hello, picture. A riddle which reads, pour the head on all the dead. If not bubbling, nor all is there, beware. It doesn't mean anything. Can I go out the window? 
This is not out the window. Nothing special about the rug. Maybe I need to be burning stuff. Candle, burn, rug. We're back in room. Pillow. Pick up pillow. Move pillow. Coat rack. <laughs> this! I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. There's just nothing here. Nothing going on. Oh, cool picture. If anybody has any ideas, feel free to share. Feel free to, to simply blurt them out. Because I am totally stumped and just kind of wandering around with no purpose at the moment. A strange man picture? I haven't set anything on fire, no. The books do have like weird shapes here, like a little horned demon goat head, a spoon, and like a, a symbol there. There's the scary book in the book. We opened all these. Well, what is that? The, the box is back. No, no, it's not there. There's no box. It's a fake box. It's an illusionary box. Okay. Okay. Sure. The lab is the most mysterious. Because we got the mystery of being able to inject the rodent slash bird and causing an explosion. Maybe I use the bird seed? Like, I feel like I need to get the disc from the arcade to use the computer and I feel like the computer might give me the information needed to mix the chemicals appropriately. I can't use the disc. I can't play the arcade game until I get a quarter somewhere. Maybe there's a quarter in the arcade. This is weird. This is weird. Check the coin returns. win a video game spoon i haven't uh, what items have i even used <laughs> now that i think about it like i can just randomly mix and match different chemicals i haven't used the spoon no i used the spoon to tunnel out of jail I haven't used the sleeping pills. I guess we gotta knock someone out. Oh, I unplugged it. Okay, well we can plug it back in. It, the initial state was unplugged. When we first enter here, it's unplugged. 
and we have to plug it in ourselves. I guess the sleeping pills, the bird seed it keeps saying if I try to use, no birds will find the bird seed there. So in one of these bajillion rooms, we got to find where to put the bird seed. Fluffy towel I haven't used. Key I used to unlock the one door in the second story of the mansion. Uh, this is the bottle of bald e ghoul hair tonic. Nothing. No idea. This is mold spice. No idea. I haven't used it. Knife. So I know now we can use the knife to kill the dog, but that that's death. So we don't want to do that. Bottle of old crow I haven't used. We can't combine inventory items. Candle I haven't used. Strange trinket I haven't used. And that's it. So let's try all of the things on you. Trinket. I think I tried this already. Let's try it again. Mold spice. Surely there's some reason to come to this spooky store. Although not necessarily. The second last half of Darkness game had plenty of things that were just simply there to be cool. <laughs> so it's very possible that the same thing will happen here where there's just rooms don't actually do anything in. We just hang out. Now this is actually, this is suspicious. Save it, store. Let's try and figure out the store. So if we go back here, oh, that's out. So what's what's over here? That's out. So what's over here? How did I get out? <laughs> what? Sir, take some sleeping pills. Bird seed. Buffy towel. Key. Baldy ghoul hair tonic, mold spice, stab him, old crow, candle, hmm, we can talk to him, get out of here if you don't have any money. I want to steal money from him. Oh, we're busted. Okay. We're unbusted. We slow it down a little bit more. Can I see what it says? We use the bell. Can you help me? Does not respond and he disappears. Hello, pickles. We use the pickles. What are these? Yucky Mr. Yucker's old fashioned jelly. Japanese rice, scouring powder. Laundry detergent, cola, sugar, pickles, plant, cash register. Open the cash register. Use the cash register. Take the cash register. And we're in jail. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this... What is going on? I don't know what to do. Oh dear. All right, got thrown in jail. Just walk out of jail.
Oh, and he's gone. Okay. So now we can rummage. Oh, he's back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, ah. Can I use the phone? No. What is happening? I wonder if I'm missing a room somewhere. There just doesn't seem to be anything to do. Local pub, several loft. Large cottage above the pub. This is where the dog is that we can kill. Don't want to kill the dog. So we open this door and go in. Quiet warehouse with a very large box. I don't know. I can't seem to be able to open this box. This box is empty. We can go upstairs. What? What did you just say? You will never get me. What'd you say before that? What? What? I want to get you. Do I just have to wander into every single area? I guess I haven't tried much in this room because it runs so poorly. Like, the, <laughs> the mouse doesn't work here. So I've just been staying away from the torture room. Ah, uh, get, get out. Oh, that was just the previous. Oh, thank you. Thank you for checking. She, so she just said, you will never get me. You will never get me. Ha ha ha. So there's a door, a third door on the right side. Door, door, door. That's the torture chamber again. Okay, warehouse. Uh, the sound, <laughs> funny story about the sound. The sound was working when I first started playing. And then the game was constantly crashing and every two sound effects that would play the game would crash. And I accidentally disabled it one time. Because after the game kept crashing and crashing and crashing and crashing, I would constantly relaunch the game. And one of the random instances of me reloading the game brought up a, a prompt to input my sound settings and my CPU speed, and my control method. And I accidentally turned the sounds off. I don't know how to do that again. <laughs> I don't know how to bring up the, the setup screen to turn them back on. Although it's, it seems to be a lot more stable without the sound. Okay, let's go in here. So there's three... I don't know if these are three different warehouses or three of the same warehouses. They seem to be three of the same warehouses, but they could be three of the... Three different warehouses. Can't go to this cottage across the street. That's where... Oh, that's not a bad idea, Pac-Man. That's not a bad idea. In fact, let me try that. Save. Stuck. Oh, don't load. Save. Save. Stuck. It's not a bad idea. Quit. 
Um, if we just take this, move it out there, quit DOS box, boot it back up. <laughs> Mouse, PC speaker, 40 plus megahertz. Oh, we're back. We're back. All right, now the game is going to keep crashing again. Which is good. Because we get the music. Stuck. I, I still don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. We have to figure out how to get in there somehow. Enter fifth word and tips. Okay, copy protection again because we just restarted. Level. L E V E L. Continue with your quest. Man, if I had 9.95 I could mail to Softlab, I could get the hint booklet for this game. That'd be useful. I don't know what to do. Uh, let's go to the... Save. Lab. Uh, let's play around with this a little bit more. Specifically the syringe. Try and figure out the mysteries of the syringe here. So if we use the syringe... Oh, okay, we died. <laughs> <laughs> what? And life points are gone. Okay. Lab. So if we use the syringe on the green, wait, this might be super easy to brute force. This might be super easy to brute force. Because if we make one single mistake, you just die instantly. Well, we just do, oh, not that. What, we do green? What? Maybe it's not easy to brute force. Do green, pink, purple. So now it's brown. Eject the small rodent with the blue liquid, but I had brown liquid. What? Is this good? What do I, what do, I do now? Oh, oh, it exploded. Yeah, there's a lot more magic gem. <laughs> it's, they're all made by the same dude, as far as I know. As far as I know, the same guy kept making... Oh... The crash. Okay. As far as I knew, know, the same dude just kept making more and more games in this universe, which is cool. Uh, feel free to 
link the walkthrough in chat, Aerogen. I would, <laughs> I would not mind just peeking at that myself. Or if you have clues you can give me. That'd be cool too, because I am completely stuck. I have no idea what to do. Giant bomb. Oh, we're, we're cheating now. We're cheating good. Cheating good. And this is such a weird walkthrough. Why is it in this format? The candlestick does nothing in this game. All right, good. <laughs> uh, the crow's feather I don't have. The bird seed. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh no no we can't open it. We use it just says use the bird seed to summon a crow. Just summon a crow. Use the bird seed on the post covered in bird droppings. We have to free this bird. We have to free this bird? But we can't open the cage. Does this free the bird? Injecting the small road ent with blue. Is, is the bird free? Second wooden starting. Second word. <laughs> oh, we're just going to cheat through this. We're just going to cheat through this. I don't even care. First. Yeah, the bird droppings. That's the clue. Something has left its mark upon this post. So after we free the bird from the lab, we use the bird seed here. No bird. Oh, you pour the bird seed. Okay. Now there's a raven. There's a raven there. Okay, there was an invisible bird. We got the feather. <laughs> what? Save. Bird. Okay. Let's keep cheating. Keep cheating. What else? The invisible bird, of course. Of course. Oh, oh, um, where's how do we get computer disk? Let's try and cheat in order. There's a Spanish silver coin. It just says you use the silver coin to play the space game to get the disk. But where do we get the coin? Oh, there's a hammer. <laughs> Looks like we're actually really close to the end here. We've collected most of the items, but it doesn't say where the coin is, which is kind of a shame. Like it, it can just get the right formula. 
I'd like to play the game. <laughs> Uh, if we go to here, now we're supposed to use the sleeping pills in the, the coffee, of course. Now he's, now he's all jacked up. Um, here we can go, oh, I can just walk into my cell now, we can't walk out, we gotta break out through the grate. Okay. So later that will help me out, um, I wish I had the coin. We need to go to the lab. I guess we're going to skip the coin because the walkthrough doesn't tell me where the coin is, so I can't find it. <laughs> go up here. So, of course, we were supposed to get the brown mixture in the, the double syringe. Apparently the computer would give us a hint as to how to mix the chemicals to get the brown. Green, boom, boom, and now it's brown. So with brown mixture, you can head to the town, go to the pub, go back here, inject the dog. No, I don't care, I guess not. What do I do? Cheat, 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 cheat. Oh, it's not this dog. Never mind. There's a different dog we have to inject. We haven't made it to this different dog yet. I guess the ghost lady in the mansion gave us a clue when the very first time we saw her about the three birds of a feather. I guess that's this lady's sister. And that was the clues for the ingredients needed for the potion. So I have all three ingredients for the potion. They're three random bird related objects. First one is the Old Crow Whiskey. Second is... The Feather. What's the third one? In the Eagle Hair Tonic, for whatever reason. The e-ghoul hair tonic is something required but I think we might have soft locked. Oh no, never mind. This is so now we have potion. Okay. Now we have a potion. But the potion's not finished yet. Eagles. What does that have to do with birds? Whoa! Got a hammer. So because we put the the one cop in town to sleep. By putting sleeping pugs, sleeping pills into his coffee, then the vamp gang has run wild in this town. 
and they just murdered the shopkeeper, stole everything. And so we get a hammer. We get our precious hammer. Yeah, because there's no police anymore. So with the hammer, you can open the box. Oh, dude, look at this. Statue of a Lady Warrior contains a small stone on its shield. Uh, we can't grab the stone because it's very hot. So we have to go back here. Can't grab the stone. We have to go find a sink. Is that is this a sink? I would find a sink that works. Okay, the sink worked. And we have to wet the towel in the sink. <laughs> so now we can grab the freaking stone. There we go. Save. Stone. So if we don't use the towel and we try and pick up the stone, it's too hot to touch. Okay. Use the towel on the stone. Just pick up the stone. Okay, we got it. While the stone, while the towel's in our inventory, then we pick up the stone. We don't actually use the towel on the stone. We just have the towel in the inventory and pick up the stone. <laughs> um, now I don't know what to do again, so let's cheat. We have to find the creepy old man. Where the heck's the creepy old man? I think now okay now something triggered in the game and a piece of the witch is now missing oh dear god this is everything's fine everything's fine no need to no need to worry Everything might be broken. Can I get out of this room? Oh dear. Um. 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 Okay, we got out. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna find the creepy old man. Cops asleep. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, this guy. This guy in here. This is the creepy old man. Bring me the stone. I'm restored. What am I doing? Wrong button. It's fine. Get that. Save. Stone. So he wants the stones. So now we can give him the stone. The stone cracks open and a drop goes into the head. So now we have a potion. The potion that the witch created for us by giving her whiskey, hair tonic, and a crow's feather from an invisible bird. The potion that we got from combining those objects with no purpose, no reason. We just we just did it. <laughs> it wasn't complete. We needed the stone because this guy told us to give him the stone. So we had to give him the stone, of course. And now the potion is done. I don't know what to do from here. 
we have the potion. So we save. Potion. Um, now we have to find the bad guys. I guess we go to the other house. And try and get into these doors. Locked, locked. Dude, the interface is all jacked up. Can we hammer the doors? Uh, uh, no. Cheat, 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 cheat. So we're supposed to find the vamp gang now. Maybe it's in the back of the store. This little walkthrough doesn't tell me where the vamp gang is. So we go to the store. Go here. She's fine. Oh, okay. Here we go. What is happening here? I don't know. This blue room of horror contains only a table with a large skull, a small orb which moves around the head. A mysteriously strange skull sits on this table with a dagger through its head. What? Moonlight of a full blue moon shines down the skylight. Open the door. Uh, use the pendant, Lock the door, <laughs> what, talk, hello skull, the head speaks, don't take the beer, I took the beer, what's your name, don't take the beer, or am I, can you help me, arg, okay, I wonder if I've been soft locked this entire game because I took the beer the very first time I went to the bar. Hello, bartender. A beer, please. And then let's not take the beer. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, oh dear, we're back here. Okay. Whew. Why? Cheat, 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 cheat. We got to find the hideout of the vamps. I don't know where that is. So I'm skimming through. This little walkthrough sort of thing just keeps referring to the hideout, but it doesn't say where the hideout is. Hammer. The knife is a red herring. 
mold we use the mold spice on the puddle of green mold which i haven't found yet to prevent the mold beast from coming out and killing us what? i want i want to see the mold beast Hmm. Secret cellar. There's a secret cellar and a sewer. Vamp hideout. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where to go. Let's go back to the shop. Go back, go back, go back to the shop. Like, this seems very suspicious. This seems the most suspicious. What the heck is going on here? Open the door. Now you try using the hammer on the door. It just tells us don't take the beer. So apparently the ultimate goal of the game, you win the game when you find the missing bones of the witch, put it back here, and pour the skull potion on this, and then you win. I guess that's how you win the game. Not that we were ever told anything about that, ever, anywhere, about that. But that's that's the goal. That's what we're trying to do. So now that we have the potion, uh, the bone's missing. So we have to track down the bone. The dog in the back of the pub supposedly came in here and stole the bone. And now the dog is, in the vamp, is at the vamp's hideout. I don't know how to get to the vamp hideout. Is it over there? I can see the cottage across the alley from this window. Cottage above the pub can be seen through this window. I guess we open all of these boxes. Another stone. Okay, cool. I hope I got the right one. <laughs> what? I hope I got the right one. So this is the warehouse that we just came from. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, maybe this place. You, Doc, uh, what, what about the torture chamber? Hello. That's the second sound bite. So the game has crashed. This is insane. Even with a oh, with this, what about this door? This door. Okay. Uh, what was my save? Potion. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we got that. Please don't crash. Still locked. Hammer. Hello, door. What? 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 Hello, door. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Go down here.
I wish I could play the game. I wonder what this game is like. Oh, dude, I really want to play the game, but I can't. Second word in introduction. Journey. Big on stranger. I haven't done anything in this room. I've not done anything in this room. Oh my goodness. I just, I just want to finish the game. How do we finish the game? Vamp, vamp, vamp. Let's go through these doors again. Let's go through these doors again. So I can't open either of these doors, and nothing I've tried to do has allowed me to open them. This leads to here, this leads to here, this leads to here. This is the end of the line. Okay, take the back door. This leads to here, leads to here. This leads back out here, that was through this door. And these two are locked. We equip this and then just try and walk through. What was that? What was that? Why is this happening? It's like redrawing the room if I try to walk in that door. <laughs> what? What? Talk. Hello, door. Hello, doorway. Oh, maybe we just go through the doorway. Oh, there's a... What? I missed this exit this entire time. I somehow never walked down there. It never dawned on me unless this wasn't open earlier. If there's three exits, what? All right, I found the cellar. I I don't know. I I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the scent of old wine lingers in this cellar, where an entire wall of wine is on one side of this room. Save. Wine. Look. Power box looks too complicated to fool around with. Purple curtain. Barrels. Don't drink the beer. Oh, if we have to pixel hunt. Oh. Just go. Open the curtain. Oh, what's this? Laundry chutes. Jump in. <laughs> the dungeons. Accompanied by only old bones which sit in the corner of this dungeon. The swamp goo. <clears throat> I can't take the skull. Open the hatch. Go to the sewer. <laughs> the swamp's scent prevails this dungeon passage. It's a small sea cove can be seen in the distance. The scent of the moldy swamp goo is at its strongest here. Two-way passage. Four-way passage. Four-way. Three-way. Dead end. Oh. There's a maze. Let me out. Let me out. 
Who <laughs> let me out? Oh dear. Oh dear. It's an unclickable exit. All right, we're stuck. Oh, no, no, you just phase through the wall. Okay. Just phase through the wall. I am totally lost here. Why is there a maze? Why'd they put a maze? Of course they put a maze. Mazes are good. Whoop! Oh, there they are. There's the vamps. Nothing special about the gang. The gang does not respond. What is your name, gang? Where am I going, gang? Oh, okay, we're... Here. Uh, let's just ignore that. Just ignore that. And we're in the vamp hideout. It would appear that this is the vamp's hideout. I hope they approve of trespassers. So because I had the bracelet for the necklace equipped here, I was able to take the south exit from the gang's tile to get to the hideout. And now we inject the dog with brown. And take the bone. And now we just have to get out of here and save the game. Vamp or sit and win the game. And the dog disappeared. Don't worry about it. Now we have to wander out of here. I must stumble my way through this maze until I find the escape. Okay, we made it. Oh! Swamp. Up, right, up. Was it left? Left. Okay. Wait, what? What was out this way? What? Dave. Ooze. Let's use the mold to be gone. This is deranged. Uh. All right. Go this way. Looking out from this cave, a pirate ship sits at the bottom of this cove as its remains are scattered throughout the beach. Okay. One of the few pirates who made it to shore, only to taken by Helda's revenge. What? 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 This is just like a scene? Hello ship. I guess this is just a scene. Is that the pirate ship we sailed in on? No, it's just a scene. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's finish the game. This deranged nightmare. Okay. Use the bone. Oh. Use the potion. Slow the game down. Okay, we won. <laughs> what? Oh my god. This game sucks. Stop the timer. Last Half of Darkness 1 ruled. Last Half of Darkness 1 was so cool. So much fun. 
I greatly enjoyed playing through it. Even though I got stuck at the end, I don't care because it was fun. It was an exciting experience. Cool graphics. Puzzles that make sense. <laughs> puzzles that actually make sense. The game was playable. Last Half of Darkness 1 was great. Highly recommend it. Number two. A bit more deranged. Kind of a fever dream. But the absurdity of the second game lends a, a different atmosphere where it was still fun and engaging to figure out what's going on. A lot more cool, like creepy graphics with the whole dungeon crawling bizarreness abounds in the second game, especially at the ending. Like the ending just goes off in its own little crazed dimension of nonsense where you throw the girl into the volcano and then take another girl and sail away. I still don't know what that was about. The third game, man, oh man. Like, you can tell he was trying to do something. Obviously, a lot of effort went into creating the new game engine. The, new, the graphics were good. The sound bites were nice. Like, it's a very nice atmosphere, very cool mood, but there's no game design. There's no game design. Like, not even, not even caring about the the crashes like i don't i i can i can put that aside because they were easily enough it was easy enough to circumvent the crashes and continue playing there was just no game design like you're you're just dropped into a, a town and that's it and you just walk around <laughs> and explore and that's it and you find a little witch, and she tells you to find her sister for a potion. Okay. Her ghost sister, mind you. You find her ghost sister, and the first time you see her, you don't even know that that's the sister. At least I didn't. And she says, like, birds of a feather. Three birds of a feather. To, 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 that's it. That's your clue. <laughs> she says... Three birds of the feather will help kill forever. And that's supposed to be your clue that you're supposed to find three bird-related items to give to the potion maker. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Nothing made any sense. The random guy sitting in a chair tells you to bring him the stone. Okay, sure, take the stone. <laughs> what? Whatever, okay. That's kind of a downer, kind of a shame. But man, was that a bad game. Welcome to the stream. First two games are incredible. That was less than incredible. Yeah, thank goodness for the walkthrough. I I, I would have just given up with the, without the walkthrough because I got totally lost and stuck. I had no idea what I was doing or what I was supposed to be doing. The walkthrough didn't even help a whole lot. Well, I take that back. The walkthrough helped a ton. It just wasn't like very straightforward. But anyway, that's that. That's the last half of darkness. We did it. <laughs> that's all three of them. Oh man. There's still many games made by this guy that I want to play. There's still many games I want to play by the same developer. There's the Romantic Blue. Which is another DOS adventure slash dungeon crawler. Set in the same universe, supposedly. Not that these three games have had any sort of cohesive story whatsoever. But it'd be nice to revisit them with a different game. There's a remake of the first game. Last Half of Darkness. Remade. Um, which supposedly changes things around. It's not just a straight remake. Kind of a standalone game. And then there's four <laughs> more modern games in the Last Half of Darkness series as well. So we have only begun to play Last Half of Darkness. Like, I still want to play more. Don't get me wrong. This third game being garbage does not dissuade me from wanting to play more. Because <laughs> you can see the potential of the, of the developer in those first two games. Even this game has so much potential. It just, it just sucked. It just sucked. But there are cool things about it. It just it just sucked. Anyway. 
Anyway, that's it for me. I gamed more than I could game. I gamed beyond my limits today. Thank you everybody for watching. It's been a good time. <laughs> I'm glad to have finally played these. Glad to have played them. I'm really happy you played the first two. And we did the third one as well. <laughs> That's all we're, we'll just we'll just gloss over the third one from here on out. Remember the good, discard the bad. Yeah, thanks for watching. Let's find somebody to raid. Um I'll be back again probably Tuesday. I think I may take tomorrow off. I do have some things, some tasks, some chores I've been putting off. It's probably no stream tomorrow, and then come back Tuesday for more gaming. Tuesday gaming. I think we'll do that. I don't know what it's going to be. I never know what it's going to be. Until the day of. Sometimes late the night before, we'll figure it out. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for follows, the resubs, the raids. As always. Appreciate the support. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. We gotta go. Who's streaming? Who's playing game? Everybody. Literally everybody. Literally everybody is online. Literally everybody. Uh, Macaw just started streaming. We'll raid Macaw. He just started streaming, so there might be like three hours before he gets to the game, so it gives me time to go make food. <laughs> Start laundry. <laughs> Do take a nap. Looks like he's playing some PlayStation 1 mystery game. <laughs> Could be good. Take care. Thanks for watching. Farewell, everybody. Adios. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.